I think we're live. Hey, let us know if y'all are coming in live and clear because I think we are out there getting after it today. Ooh, and we thank y'all so much for dropping by the kitchen. If you was going to try to do this outside today, blow the makeup off your head. Southwestern Oklahoma is getting some of that good breeze. We tend to have nearly tropical force winds about 70% of the time of the year. So, hey, it's something we're used to. What, have, Shan? Have everybody shout out where they're watching from. Yeah. We've already gotten some internationals. We have some folks from Austria, from Germany, Hawaii. Australia, Hawaii's on there. And uh, I'd like to just go ahead. We had some folks donate even before this started. Mike McGinnis, Titus Tucker, Christian Schreckel, we thank y'all so much. I think we're over $200 already, and we're going to sort of let a little more people get on before we really get started with this deal. But I think I should let y'all know right off the bat, this is not nothing political. This is what we call in our part of the woods all I was ever raised to know in ranching, and that is neighbor helping neighbor. That is what we're doing. We're helping our neighbors. Now, some of y'all might have seen, even back before, we helped our good neighbors in Kentucky when all the tornadoes went through there. So, folks, what makes this country great? Reaching out and helping others. And that's what this is all about. So, no political comments, no nothing. Be happy. Let's share. Let's smile. Let's have a good time. Because that's what's going to take place here in the kitchen today, I promise. I'm and all the donations, 100%, go to Convoy of Hope. They they help supply humanitarian needs to all the refugees. Now, you don't have to donate, but if you would, hey, we would be honored and you will be blessed and we'll be blessed. There's a little button down there at the bottom that you can push that says donate, and hey, it's there. Shout there out is, to Jay Johnson, he just donated. Jay, we thank you so much, brother, for donating, we do. But make sure you hit that little button. Don't think that YouTube's getting this. It all goes 100%, that's how. Shan has got it set up. Jeffrey Fleming has, got, has given us a little donation too. We thank you so much. And hey, this is called what? Cowboy fried bananas or fried nanners. You know, we always had nanners. We never really had too many bananas, but some of y'all might have remembered and might have watched me on Chopped Grill Masters. That was a long time ago. And they broke out something that looked just like this and give to me in the dessert round. And what did I call it? A nanner. They said it was a plantain. Hey, where I come from, we don't have them. We've never even seen them. So if it looked like a nanner, we're going to treat it like a nanner. This was a recipe that really I broke out to some cowboys a long time ago, first night in on a ranch, and they thought, oh, my gosh, what is the cowboy cook done throwed at us now? They asked for this four more times in two weeks to know if they could have it. I'd say somebody going to have to go to the store and get some ice cream is all I can tell you. How many people are cooking along with us today? Let's see a show of hands, all right? Don't be like the beagle and the mage. Here, and let, me, let me pan down to whoop, whoop, the major. The mage is the <laughs> only one present in the, the kitchen other today. Ones, let me pan around. Are over right here right sleeping. Yes, everybody's had a really hard day, they have. But if this is so easy to cook along with, it's, it's something that is really a, a great dish. And I think we're going to go ahead and tell everybody, if you're worrying about the fear of alcohol being in your finished product, alcohol cooks away. We're just getting that great flavor that is added to it. It is a great thing. But I need to go ahead and tell you all, too, be sure and keep an eye on the website, the community tab, because you know what's happening? Hey, we're going to be at Downstream Casino up in Quapaw, Oklahoma. It's right on the border of Missouri and Oklahoma this Saturday. Okay, so be sure and just log on to their little channel over there, I mean their website, Downstream Casino, and get your ticket if there's any left. Uh, we hope to see you there. But also, hey, it's getting oh so close, and we thank God, and we thank y'all. Two million subscribers is right around the corner. I think we're liking about maybe 16, 17,000, and that'll happen before you know it. But also, we're starting to host some private events over here at the little in our courtyard behind the coffee shop to where you can go ahead and purchase tickets for that. Shan has got you fixed up. We'd love to see you all there. It'll be sort of an intimate evening. We're only selling 38 tickets to each event. So if you want to go, we'd love to have you. Just make sure that you just get along that website and you can figure all that out. I just, Is it, can I just stop you right now? Yes, ma'am. Because we've already passed our goal. I, I knew we would, Sugar. We have good people. Uh, we, 
we set a goal of what we thought was we were going to make today, and uh, we passed that before we even really get started. So, folks, that's that's y'all's heart pouring out to a community and a nation that. Um, I, we have somebody from Poland watching. Oh, so it is. It is good. We have some folks from Poland that are watching today, and hey, our heart goes out to all those people over there. And like I say, this is what we do. Neighbors help neighbors. We may not can touch them right off the bat and hold their hand, but folks, we can support them and we can help them out. So is it time to start cooking, Shan? It is. It is time to start cooking. So first of all, you need what? Three nanners. You and do. somebody did ask, are they green? Are they ripe? Well, Shan picks these bananas out. I pick ripe bananas. She likes hers to be just a tad bit on the greenish side. Now, I will tell you this as a tip. If they're a little underripe, they do hold up better in the skillet when you begin to cook, and you're still going to get that same flavor. So hurry, go out there to the bush and get three bananas off the tree. Bring it back in here. You're going to need some sugar. You're going to need some bugger, bugger, some cinnamon, and some of this here snops, cinnamon snops. Now, to start off with, we have our good stargazer skillet back over here on the stove, and I'm not going there yet, Shen. I'm just gonna light this and turn it on low. If it'll light, it's not got a stick of firewood in it, so we'll turn it down to right there. One stick of butter. Now, if you're doing this in a piece of cast iron, and I hope that you are, make sure it is a well-seasoned piece of iron because this is sort of hard on newly resurfaced cast iron. It is. So one stick of butter. Can you use fireball? Can Oh, you can use fireball. In fact, let me just see what's up here. Oh my gosh, look here. It says fireball. Just in case we run a little short, we'll break some Someone of that out. Someone said they already ran out of alcohol. They had to go right to the store. <laughs> <laughs> already run out. They done made this dish before we started then, have they? So what are we going to do? a cup of sugar. Now remember for you folks that are just jumping on, when you go to donate to this, it all goes to a convoy of hope. 100% of the money goes there. We're not getting no money. YouTube not getting no money. It's going straight over there as humanitarian aid to those folks that need it the most. Neighbors helping neighbors. Remember, that's what we do. What did you start with? What did I start with? A cup of sugar. Yes, I did. Now, now we're gonna have some cinnamon. Now I know it's in the in the snops, but we gotta have some more How here. Much? How much? The right amount is what I'd say, which is probably a tablespoon or two. If you don't have this recipe, but you got this book in your house, run, get it quick, hurry. It's this one right here, A Taste of Cowboy, our first one. And since Shan really wants to know, it's one tablespoon of cinnamon, Shan. We're gonna give this a mixing with this fancy brand new red whisk we are. Could you add nutmeg? You could add nutmeg, you can add allspice, whatever seasoning you want to put in here. I've never tried it with chili powder or anything like, like that. I was wondering what that sound was, but it is butter. Ain't that a beautiful sight, Shan, when you can get some, oh my gosh. And some of you might be asking, do we really need a stick of butter? Folks, if it was just me, we'd probably put about four sticks in there. You can never have too much butter. So let's move on to these bananas. I need you to just cut them any way you can to Where's get them your open. Hat, well, try not to wear a hat in the house. That's what my mother would always tell me. A hat hangs on the rack when you come in the door. So that's where it's supposed to be. Y'all can see my wonderful hairdo today. I did have to wet it down before I come in here. The wind had about blowed it off my head. I got a question. I see Shan do this a lot. She'll bite this end of the banana. That's how monkeys do it. That don't mean you a monkey, Shan. I mean, <laughs> I watched the documentary. They got this little deal right here that you can just pull on. That's why it's here. So get them all peeled out of there. Three bananas. Mm, I like a nanner. I do. Now I want you to turn them up lengthwise like that because we need them to be able to lay right in the skillet. Go ahead and cut them in half. And if you want, just go ahead and cut them here. That way they're easier to serve when we get ready at the end of the deal because most of the time they're going to try to break in half anyway when they get hot. So go ahead and cut them. And if they even fall in smaller pieces than that, it's all right. Now I've heard this called Bananas Foster. What was the name we got from Hawaii, Sam, that it was called? I can't even remember now what folks told us it was. But the butter is getting hot. I can hear it sizzling. 
Make sure that you don't burn it. We've got it on low, low heat. We have our cinnamon and sugar. We're going to do these one at a time. We just have a donation for $500. Oh, a donation for $500. By anonymous. By an anonymous person. God bless you so much, my friend. We appreciate it very much. Let me get in here. What's happening? We are coating nanners with a brown sugar, no brown sugar, a cinnamon and sugar mixture. Now, I have used brown sugar for this on a ranch because I run out of everything else. So it don't hurt to experiment. It don't. Just make sure everybody gets coated well. Hi, Mage. How are you, buddy? You don't like bananas, I know. But folks, there is something that goes with this right at the end that Major really does like. That's called Blue Bell Ice Cream. And they ain't sponsoring the video. But whew, we do like us some Blue Bell. Anybody else, Shan? Where can you buy the cookbook? Where can you buy the cookbook? We have two. This one is a taste of cowboy, our first cookbook, and you can get Faith, Family, and the Feast, our second cookbook, at www.kentrollins.com. But or today, major. huh? Or, or major. Ma major retailers, like, not retailers, but Amazon does have them too as well, right? And folks, I'll give you a little heads up too. Coming sometime, oh, first part of May, if you're near a Atwoods Farm and Ranch store, they will have our product in there. We're so glad to be in there. We got a $5 donation from an anonymous. Thank you so much. We appreciate each and everybody that is donating, but we appreciate you all for watching and having that heart that I know our viewers do. I tell people all the time, we have the best fans in the world, and that is y'all. We appreciate each and every one of you letting us come into your house on Wednesdays and Sundays. Hey, it is a blessing for us. But today, we're talking about all the proceeds going to a convoy of hope, a humanitarian relief that is going 100%. Hit the donate button, it'll get there. Also, remember, check the little website out for upcoming events. It is warming up. This Saturday, we'll be in Quapaw, Oklahoma at the Downstream Casino. It's sort of a little cook alive demonstration. They're having steak. Ooh, it's going to be good. We've and then, got a lot of people asking if you can do these every Sunday. Every Sunday? The, if, we got, if we don't run out of liquor, we might do them Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We might do it all. So, Shannon, you want to go ahead and move around here because we're fixing to go okay. to the skillet. Hold on, everybody. Uh-oh. Bear with me. We are in transit. We are. <laughs> so we have turned that up to about a medium heat, and we're going to cook these bananas about a minute or two on all sides. And to me, when you can get that in there and things start to go on and you smell that cinnamon that's coming off that mixed in with that butter, it don't get no better than that. So we'll get her turned up, ready to go. Ouch, that's hot. Now this is three bananas that's cut up. You can use two, you can use eight, but if you use much more in a skillet full, you better do it in separate batches because it gets a little crowded in the swimming pool. It does. I want to know how everybody else is doing. Yeah, it, I want to know who's cooking along. I mean, I, I want to come over and eat sometimes, so I need to know who is cooking. Now, look, look, look who has joined me over here. It is my buddy, my kitchen help, who's always in here all the time. No matter what you're cooking, Mage is going to be here. Ain't you, Mage? Rubber spoon cast iron works well together just give them a little shaking around there i have done it two or three different ways i'm going to turn it up just a tad just go ahead and spoon butter over them instead of turning them over because we're not frying these to where they're golden brown they're not staying in there that long so we just want them to go just a little bit oh that can y'all can y'all smell that shin because it is smelling some of that good it is now I will tell you this, you need one of these too, okay? I don't want to see you using that big old flamethrower that I start fire with outside. Get you just a small striker because this is, what do you call that, flambe? Oh, are you going to light it on fire? Yes, ma'am. Well, the smoke alarm's been disassembled here in the house, so <laughs> I think we'll be all right. So it's just like spooning brown butter over a steak. We're just going to keep this going. I find this method easier than the turning all of the, the bananas over. You can tilt it to one side, whatever you got to do. And if sometime in that process, you don't think it's got enough cinnamon to suit you, just open up the shaking side and give it another little shaking in here because you're sure not going to hurt nothing. 
and that's got some great color on it now. Things are beginning to happen. I like to let it go to where you don't see the butter, butter, the butter brown because that's getting a little too far. We're getting oh so close. So what do we got? Remind everybody no political comments. And folks, like I told y'all, y'all know about our channel. We're here to help people. We're here to entertain. We're here to provide a service. That is not anything that is political. This is not a political statement of any kind. We are helping people. So if you have a political comment you'd like to have, leave them to yourself because we don't want them. That's what this is about. Now, Justin Wilson always told me that he said, let me just go ahead because I don't want y'all to think that I ain't got no manners. <laughs> Justin said, whatever you're cooking with, wine, whiskey, or beer, make sure you sample that it has not gone sour. It's just right. It's all right, Shen. We got Nova Scotia watching. Oh, we thank y'all. So, how much? I like to use a whole cup full, I do. And I want to show y'all the good color of this. And don't be worried about the alcohol content. It's good and red. Mm. I mean, it looks good. Because this is going to burn off as it cooks. Turn that heat up just a tad more. Let's just go ahead and pour it right on there. Ooh, ain't that a pretty sound right there? I like to let her cook for just a little bit. And then guess what? It's time to get flambéed, it I'm is. Well, we always got the, got the winder. We can throw it out, Shannon, if things get a little too fast for you. Here we go, okay, folks. Wait, tell me what's happening first. What's going to happen? We're going to burn the alcohol off of it, okay? Because it's boiling right now, but we're going to see what... Did you see that flame up or just a little? Oh, so it's not bad. No. Oh. I have done it at the wagon to where it'll lick the top of the tarp, so... Just make sure you, if it'll stay lit, it's even better, but sometimes it won't. Well, and that schnapps doesn't have a ton in it. No, it's 60%. You can get 80, you can get 100. So, hey, Mage, I think we're good, buddy. Don't you? So, you can let this cook. Denise just made a donation. Denise, we thank you so much. Now, you can let this cook down to it makes a really thick syrup and is about gone and evaporated. Me, I just like to let it simmer right there on pretty low heat while I go off over here where Shan is and what? Get oh, the Blue Bell probably, ice cream. Sherry said you probably let it cook a little too long so it already cooked out some of the alcohol. Might have, but being that it's just 60 proof, it didn't have much in there to start with. Well, you drank half of it. I drank a little sip. <laughs> let me get the there ice cream out of here. Yes, ma'am. Blue Bell is what's happening today. Hi, Mage. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. I got one of these ice cream dippers somewhere. I got a bowl, and this bowl got so many comments when we did a video with it. And hang it's, on, hang on, let me, I gotta reset my camera here. And it was just a bowl that we found in an antique store. Mage, let's get a cup holder. I mean, a, one of these to set this skillet on. And we're gonna set it right here. Whew, that is thickening up just a tad, and it does, mm, it does smell some of that good too. So you can do this two of three ways. You can put your ice cream in there now and put the bananas on top of it, or you can make a double decker deal to where I like to go ahead and put one in there. Bring the stargazer right over here. Get us one of these nanners or two or three lay right in here. We'll just get another one too and put over here and then you just take some more of that sauce and just drizzle it all over that ice cream. I like to top with one more. This is something that Kent does just for himself. Just a little shake of cinnamon. If it a little shake will come on. Folks, that's a $347 plate of dessert there that we made for $6.95. So if we had a spoon and they're over there, Shan, somewhere, I would actually take a bite of this concoction. I haven't had any since probably six years ago on a ranch when we were cooking this. So for y'all, those of y'all who already have y'all's cooked and you've tasted it, tell me what it tastes like. I need to know, okay? Because this is, this is a favorite dessert of ours that we very seldom make. So, bananas, sauce, ice cream. Ooh. 
Mm. The warmness there that you have from the banana that's cooked in that butter and cinnamon. But folks, the thing that shows out is that there's sauce that's got that cinnamon snops in it. Drizzle you some more back over there. Uh, I'm probably through talking now, Shannon. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. Mm. It make you want to. Mm. Oh, there we go. Dude, an anter peel. Look out, you nearly got step. Oh, we, we gotta stop right there. Give me another spoon, we have help showing up. And if we don't take care of them, We'll get bit. Okay, Mage. Since you've been in here all by yourself helping Dad, there's you some ice cream. Big woke up for ice cream. Big and Sadie found an extra sack of dog food last night and decided that they'd have a smorgasbord. So they got to walk about three miles today. They did, and it helped their outlook on life. Remember, all the proceeds when you hit that donut donate button go to Convoy of Hope. So our goal was a thousand. Yeah. We're at three point three thousand. There we go, folks. That is three point three thousand that we have raised so far, and we sort of set the goal at a thousand. That is due to you, good people, and uh, having the heart that we know you have. That's why we tell people we have the best fans in the world because y'all are family to us. Y'all know what we stand for. I know what y'all stand for, and that's the best part of it. And everybody's wondering if we can do these every Sunday, but remind them we do have okay. videos. Folks are asking, can we do these every Sunday? But we do have a video that comes out every Sunday, 4 o'clock, and every Wednesday at 2.30 Central. And folks, <laughs> hey, there are a lot more things coming up. Um, we just ask you to be sure and always check the channel. But the best thing that we can do for something like this is share the video with other folks. Share it with everybody you know, because that way we're helping someone in, that's in need. And we've always wanted to help people. That has just been a goal. Uh, I remember when we helped all the good folks in Kentucky, all the emails and everything we got from, from some of the tornado victims that had lost everything that they had and how much they appreciated. These folks, they may not be watching that we're helping today. They may not speak the language that we speak, but they speak the heart that we speak. And that's what it's about. And Hey, without y'all, none of this would be possible. It is a great deal. Remember, this weekend, this Saturday, 10 o'clock, Downstream Casino up near Joplin, Missouri, right there on the borderline in Oklahoma at Quapaw. Get you a ticket. I'd love to see you. I don't know how many tickets they have left. They may nearly be sold out. I don't know. Also, check the website. We're fixing to start some intimate evenings in April, taking 38 people at a time. We do a little dinner demo. Hey, and guess what? Can I go ahead and tell them what's going to be cooking at that, Shan? What? At the demos? Oh, sure. Something we beat Bobby Flay with. Y'all remember that, don't you? Award-winning beat Bobby Flay's butt chicken fried steak the way the cowboy makes it. So, hey, we'd love to see y'all there, too. It is a great deal. Bananas, it don't get no better than this. I really like it. Are we about ready to close it up, Shan? Yeah, and I just, like, thank you for everything. Oh. We thank y'all so much, folks, because it wouldn't be possible without you. God bless you, each and every one. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure and share with your neighbor. Know that we love you. See you down the trail.